Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English. There's more to this Alaskan Rail adventure later in this episode. This is segment two of episode 29. If you're assigned to do a state report, Alaska would be a good choice. When I was in school, doing a state report meant writing to the state tourism office and using an encyclopedia. Well, those were both great experiences, but today you're more likely to find the needed information on the internet. You can visit the state's tourism office on the web and find information on Wikipedia. Either way, there are some basics you'll need to include in your report. All 50 states have their state flag, motto, flower, tree, etc. As an intermediate English learner, getting that information should be easy enough. But how do you present it? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. It has a state flower called Get Me Not. You can write this two ways. You could say the state flower of Alaska is the forget-me-not, or you can write Alaska state flower is the forget-me-not. Either way is correct, and you'll want to alternate these as you list all the state things. You could say that the coastline of Alaska is, and I forgot how many miles, but it's a lot, or you could write that Alaska's coastline is, and then fill in that number, for the number of miles long. You'll find that in your research. Now, a notice that the last example has what looks like a comma hanging in the air. This is an apostrophe. We used apostrophes in earlier episodes to make contractions out of two or more words. That's not why we're using it now. In this case, the apostrophe shows possession. This coastline belongs to, uh, 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 to Alaska, so we say it's Alaska's coastline. The possessive apostrophe is always followed by the letter S or by nothing at all. Let me give you an example of that one. Here's an example of an apostrophe after an S. In Alaska, the marine mammal's food supply is abundant. Since the word mammals is plural, ending in an S, the apostrophe comes after the S. Now it's more common to see it used with the singular noun written before the possessive S. A humpback whale's nourishment needs are abundantly met here. So you'll want to remember that rule and you'll want to mix up your use of possessives having some sentences use them and others not using them. For example, of not using the nourishment needs of humpback whales are abundantly met here. Now, let's take a look at this. So back to the report, you could say that the flag of Alaska is mostly blue. You could say that. Or you could say that Alaska's flag is mostly blue. Both are correct, but your reader might get tired of hearing or reading Alaska, Alaska, Alaska. Well, you can vary your wording even more by using pronouns. Once you've established that it's Alaska your report is about, you can use the pronoun its. For example, Alaska's flag is mostly blue. Its state flower is the forget-me-not. Now, notice that the word its has no apostrophe. The possessive pronoun its is written without an apostrophe. If you see or write the word with an apostrophe, as seen there, it's a contraction for the words it is. Don't use the apostrophe for the possessive pronoun its. So let's look at your facts and see you can use these forms to communicate them to your readers. The state blank of Alaska is, or you could say Alaska state blank is, and you could use its state blank is, the blank being filled in by a fact. Now, you don't want to overdo the simple facts. You'll want to dig deeper than that and share some interesting things about this 49th state to join the United States of America. We'll show you more of this larger state from the rails when we return.
There are lots of positive things happening in the world of education in Southern Oregon and Northern California. We spotlight those in a program called Adventures in Education. Adventures in Education looks at positive things happening for our children and for our community in the education world right where we live. Adventures in Education can be seen twice a week, Saturdays at 3.30 p.m. and Thursdays in the evening at 7.30. Join me, please, for Adventures in Education. I'm John Letts. Thank you.